Well, as you saw earlier, Prince Charles and Camilla made quite an impact at Flemington. Tim McMillan joins me from Government House. Tim, the royal couple have had quite a busy day. They have, Pete. They set a cracking pace, the royal couple. No official engagements tonight, though. They're safely tucked away here at Government House, hopefully with the feet up, a glass of pims and lemonade in hand, or perhaps a sherry. But it has been a hectic day for Charles and Camilla. Uh, they uh, ha had a very Melbourne day, too, at that uh, a, a dose of uh, cricket at the MCG, also the races, and, of course, had to endure some of our famously unpredictable weather. Prince Charles looks a happy man. The royal tour often racing. <laughs> The heir to the throne today, treading two iconic patches of Aussie turf, Flemington and the MCG. While Camilla took the morning off, getting doled up for the cup, Charles popped out to a tapestry workshop. That's right, absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. These ancient crafts are close to his heart, and he tried his hand. Had a good laugh. The prince moved on to meet disadvantaged children experimenting with design <laughs> before mingling with a happy crowd outside. <laughs> Next stop, the MCG, to see how cricket can help bring social harmony. Kids in orange whizzed around the ground, batting and bowling. The prince weaving again at medium pace, hands behind his back. It was catching. Charles accepted the new ball and had, appropriately, a chuck. <laughs> a day to remember for these boys and girls, everybody squeezing into a giant team photo. Then, off to the cup. A thousand handshakes, a left and a right. Camilla, to Charles' delight, was warmly welcomed. Welcome to Australia! She was wearing a white dress with cream detail jacket and a Philip Tracy hat, a standout in the stands, while Charles muttered along in the national anthem. Camilla's presence here is one of her biggest public moments since marrying Charles in 2005. She's taking centre stage here in front of a global audience of hundreds of millions of people. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall have touched down in Australia. She met Ruby Blue. Charles had his moment too, congratulating the winner of the Diamond Jubilee Plate. Everyone at Flemington enjoying the royal touch. It's because he's the future king, so it's going to be really exciting. She had a little wave. She deserved a bigger car, did she? Yes, so does he. Tim McMillan, 9 News.